One of the features in MarkEdit that gets used fairly widely is the delimited text translator. One of the parts of it that uh, can be difficult to use is the um, setting up the definitions. For a lot of folks, these definitions um, can maybe already be predefined inside of an Excel sheet or a delimited file, and so having to redefine those elements in the translator can sometimes make the process uh, long and difficult. <coughs> One of the things that I've tried to do with the translator uh, this time around for the next update is to add an auto-generation feature that will allow the program to auto-generate um, the arguments list as long as the data presented in the delimited text, the Excel or the um, Access database are in the correct format. So let's go ahead and look at one here. This is the file we're going to look at. Okay. Size it down. This is a simple file. It's a simple Excel file. Um, I've created a, a set of uh, criteria on the top that MarkEdit will use um, when creating the arguments list. So let me explain what we see here. Um, in the first two fields, these are fields that I'm going to join together. In MarkEdit, joined fields are annotated by an asterisk. So in these two fields, the single asterisk mark in front of the field number represents that these two fields are joined together in the order that they're placed in the field list. Um, what MarkEdit will do then is it'll um, take the data in A and it'll um, add it to the data in uh, column B, so what you'll end up getting is a 100 field um, with Reese, uh, Terry, and the uh, subfield A. Uh, we look at the rest of the defined elements in the field, you'll see that the asterisk represents the join element, there's the field number 100, there's a subfield A, and then indicators um, that I would like to define, in this case 1, 0, and then anything following the indicators represents uh, the punctuation elements that uh, will be used um, within the data f the data file. So, if you want to define punctuation, you have to define indicators. Um, you'll see that in number C, uh, no indicators are defined. Um, if you don't want to define punctuation and you're okay with using the default indicators used in MarkEdit, which are two blanks you can leave the indicator definition off. So in this case, we would define 245 subfield A. The indicators that will be used um, in this generation of the file will be two blanks, um, and no punctuation will be added to this particular data field. Um, and I went ahead and did that for the 500 and the 500A. So these will be two separate field elements. Um, so these are the elements that you can define. So this means that um, with this kind of auto-generation form, you can't define things like um, constant data or things like that. This is really for simplified auto-generation of um, an arguments list, uh, which I think probably will represent probably a good 90% or more of the, uh, of the user's needs. Um, now, like I said, the format here is fixed, so when you're creating the definitions, they have to look um, uh, like this. So if you're joining elements, they have to look like this. If you're just creating um, a definition for a field, subfield, you have to. It has to look like this um, in this format. But um, uh, as long as uh, as long as you're following this particular format, then it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and show you how what this looks in in real life. So I went ahead and opened the delimited text translator. This particular version of the translator um, will be released uh, probably um, uh, sometime um, this weekend uh, and I guess uh, the date for that would be after Thanksgiving so right around November 24th, 25th. Um, it'll be in the, the next Mark Edit update. And you'll know that the, uh, the delimited text translator includes it um, by the, the, uh, the new um, button that represents this particular functionality. So we'll go ahead and select next, the input file. Um, so I'll go ahead and I will select uh, my Excel file. Um, I'll go ahead and save it to here. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite that file. The Excel sheet name. Sheet 1, I didn't change it, you code encoded, select next. 
you'll see that Mark Edit reads the first line of the file. It'll read the first line of the Excel file. It'll read the first line of the delimited text file. Um, Mark Edit has added this, this new function here called Auto Generate for Arguments. So if I've got the Auto Generate marker um, and I've defined my fields correctly on top, I can go ahead and select Auto Generate. Mark Edit goes ahead and auto generates the arguments list for me. And then I can go ahead and tell it to finish. And Mark Edit will go ahead and generate the file based on that arguments list. This is the file that was generated. You can go ahead and open it up and resize the window. And you can see that Mark Edit reads um, two lines in the file, the first one being the, uh, the um, definitions list. Uh, the second one being the data in the uh, field elements. So, um, most likely, if it was me, I, if if I was a user, I would end up deleting the first uh, first record in this file, um, and then I would be good to go. So, uh, that's going to be a new function um, that's going to show up in Mark Edit um, in the very near future, and hopefully, it'll be uh, useful for folks who are making use of the limited text translator. If you have questions or suggestions, let me know.